we're here for a very special Trendy and C episode. Woo! Um, it's not that special, really. It's just that we're doing a uh, double review. Mm -hmm. We're doing the Glen Fittick 12 versus the Glen Livet 12. Let's put them up front and our glasses behind. Sure. Glasses behind. There we go. Uh, and because I oh. one of the things is... Oh, you! Of, sorry, sorry. One of the things is a lot of people wonder, what is the difference? I mean, you don't you go into a liquor store like, oh, I've heard of Glen Livet, I've heard of Glen Fittick. And people say, any Glen will do. Yeah. So, well, will it? Yeah. Well, will it? Will it? And which one are we Will it? <laughs> okay. And stick around and see what we have to say about this. <laughs> This is a triangular bottle, by the way. Let's just get them out of the bottle. And the, the light reflects off of the box, so I'm sorry. It's been sitting there for a minute. Probably like shining. Blinding you. Blinding you. Anyway, that's Trini's fault. Yeah. The Glen Livet has this lovely paper that they add to it. I don't know why. I don't know why, but to be honest, I feel like when you're spending a lot of money on a whiskey and they put something kind of classy, like this is sort of classy. It's not too extravagant. It's not ridiculous. I magazine. think I think you're gonna get called out for having a double standard because you were shit talking the Glen Morangy for having too much packaging. Yep. But you like this extra piece of paper. But it was too much packaging. It was an entire box inside of a box. Hey. This is some paper that you can crumple up into a small bag hey. and throw away. Hey. I uh, hope you're ready to defend yourself. Tissue paper versus like an entire other box. Yeah, true. Either way, we're throwing it out. Yeah. Okay, hey, whiskey. Um, let's, how are we, are we going to go Glen Livets in the middle? Glen Livets sure. in the middle, yep. Glen Fittix on the outside? I like it. Okay. Oh, Livets in the, the middle. Okay. Oh. So, these are, uh, again, these are kind of the daily drams that a lot of people aren't sure what they are going to buy. Um, people out there, they go out and they find, say, they... Ten years ago, decided they really like Glen Finnick. They're gonna stick to that. They mm -hmm. don't know that there's maybe a hundred other whiskeys in the store that they, they right. could try. Right. That are probably either way better, a little higher price, but mm -hmm. way better. You know. What I mean? It's just so well known. It's, it's just like so it's, well it's the Coca Cola, right? It's the yeah. Coca Cola. These are the Coca Cola. Yeah. Coca Cola and Pepsi. Yeah. Or Pepsi and Coca Cola. Whatever. Whatever. Was that Whatever. The same? Whatever. 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 Um, yeah. So. Uh, how do you want to do this? Let's, should we go one at a time? Let's talk about. Let's sure. Talk, let's talk about Livet first. Livet. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, we're still going to do our usual color nose taste, color nose taste, finish, and viscosity for each yep. of these. Uh, we are going to score them both. Yep. And uh, yeah. Anyway. Cool. Okay. Well, let's start with the Glen Livet. Livet. Uh, we start with color, and we we, we should oh. do the comparison here because really, they're pretty similar. Oops, you know I, what? What? I don't know what. No, you don't. Um, I'm looking for color added. Mm. Yeah, so on the box, we will generally, if we bring up color, because uh, in the Scotch whiskey world, um, you are allowed to add E150A to your whiskey, which is basically a colorant to make all the products exactly the same. So. 15 years ago, you could buy a whiskey that is exactly this color as it is today, and it's just because they add that color in. 
where a lot of whiskeys nowadays, because the consumer wants to know that they're getting more of a natural product, it will say it on the box or on the bottle that it says natural color and non-chill non -chill filter. So and what I'm, all I'm going to say about this is that the box of Glenlivet does not mention non-chill filter or color or natural color anywhere. Yeah, and it doesn't this say doesn't that. either. And when you think about it, it says it, complex flavor. <laughs> I, don't, um, I don't see any floaties in this one. Well, and I'm not seeing any floaties in there. Um, However, so now we have said that because it's not on the bottle or box that it's not true, but you have to also look at the whiskeys and determine for yourself what you think. So a lot of the time when you're looking at color, is it, it's either going to be aged in a bourbon, bourbon yeah. barrel, an ex-bourbon sure. barrel or an ex-sherry barrel yeah. or both, um, a lot of the time both and it's a yeah. finish, yeah. but this is quite light and really looks very uh, ex-bourbon cast yeah. to me, it's both a, of these. It's a light straw, pale amber kind of a, a color to it. Uh, both bottles are 40% alcohol. Yeah, that's right. They're both they, 12 years old. This is a very good comparable um, mm -hmm. setup here. Also the same price point. Yeah. Yeah, for the most um, part. So yeah, the color is like a, a light straw, pale. What do we got here? Livet Fiddick? Yeah, and we're living it right now. Okay, living it. Living it. All right, we're live it large. Live it large. Okay. Here we go. Nose. There's a freshness to it. Yep. It's light. I ha I get a wet grass kind of smell to it. I got like a clean water kind of smell. So it's would that mean it's kind of watered down? I didn't say that. No, but but sometimes when you add the water to these whiskeys, mm -hmm. you can actually smell the water. Well, it sounds like they added clean water. Well, yes, yeah. it's clean. At water. least it wasn't dirty water from the Glen. Fresh fruits. Uh, there's a vanilla and a honey. It's got a new wood to me, a little bit of a, a little bit plasticky. Yeah. Everything about this, the nose on this to me says newness, like, you know, like that new car smell with the plastic, mm -hmm. new wood, like fresh, clean. It's all very new about it. So, but having said that, because it does actually have the age statement, both of these do, it's nice that that has that, but... We better get through this. Yeah, we should. But Let's get going. What else you got? Okay. What else you got? No, no, no. What do you got? <laughs> I was just gonna say it's it does have that new feeling, but it is still twelve years old. Right. So it's been in the cask for a decent amount of time. So I think the Touché. the the newness is just a lightness. It's not yes. like it's been a rushed, no. quick made spirit. Absolutely. Right? Well, well said. Okay. So are we gonna move on to the nose of this one or goes? Let's go through this one completely. Okay. okay. Taste it. Mm. It is that, again, it's this fresh, crisp, mm. honey, lemon. Light, mild flavors to it. There There's is a that, bit of a honeysuckle and a creaminess to it. There is that slight kind of metallic flavor to it, like mm. aluminum. I, I, Interesting. Which could be that newness that you're talking yeah, about, yeah, too, yeah. the freshness. Bit of, um, bit of a fruity, like a fig dried apricot thing going definitely, on, in my opinion. Definitely. And in the past, I mean, we shouldn't talk about Fiddick yet, but the Fiddick definitely has like that pear apple stuff thing. And apple, yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's finish. Um, I get a bit of a citrusy, bit of a tobacco dryness on the finish. I I wrote I thought the exact same thing. It has a dryness. The heat comes at the end instead mm -hmm, of the beginning. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, okay. Anyways, whatever. Let's, um, let's score it uh, quickly. Yeah. Water. Water, Water on the Livet um, increased the spice and the heat for me, yeah. and it increased the fruity flavors on the nose. And that kind of goes in line with the idea that it's it, it's kind of fresh feeling. Yeah. Right? Everything's fresh about it. It's Viscosity, so um, it is light in the sense that it doesn't, because it chances are it has been chill filtered there has been some of those natural oils and things like that mouth warming it. effect so so it's it's light doesn't it it's uh doesn't coat your mouth forever it doesn't stick mm -hmm. around forever but that's kind of nice it's almost to me this is like a perfect summer sipper mm. okay let's move on okay. we're gonna put both scores at the end yeah okay yeah. moving on to the finick okay okay 
So uh, again, with color, it kind of goes in line. I personally think with what we were saying about the Glenlivet, where it is nothing on the label, nothing on the box, saying that there's natural color or uh, yeah, non-chill yeah. filtered. Um, but they do have similar colors. Yeah, this one's kind of got that, um, I put strawberry blonde amber. Mm. Anyway, um, Glenfiddich is a widely mass-produced whiskey, just like Glenlivet is, but, um, <laughs> yeah, so I, I've been to both distilleries, actually. Uh, the Glenlivet distillery, uh, the master distiller there is Alan Winchester, and he's only the third master distiller in the whole line since 1817. So like 200 years. Yeah, that's that's amazing. That's so, a job. You're doing that job for 70 years. Yeah. I hope you like it. Yeah, and he's a, they, he was a genuine nice guy. Hmm. Genuine nice guy. The Glenfiddich, I didn't meet the master distiller there, but uh, it had a completely different vibe a of, of a distillery. Yeah, but... It was just a different style to her, but we can we can talk about that another time. Anyways, Glenfiddich, let's yeah. get right into it. Okay? I've been waiting for you. Okay, well we should All do right, nose. Go. Hurry up. We should do nose. <laughs> Dried fruit. Okay. The sherry feel is in there. Um, grassy hay malt extract yep. kind of thing happening. It has kind of a, more of a, a denser nose than the limit. I find like it's a little bit creamier and thicker it's but it does have that fresh kind of uh, crisp apple thing and i also got a bit of a like a sweetness like a melons a melon sweetness oh, even sure oh you can drink it, drink it. Drink drink it. it. sorry everybody a melon sweetness is what i said mm -hmm. <laughs> let's drink it here we go okay 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 so that apple mm. is on the taste i'm liking, like a creaminess I'm liking it more now yeah mm. it's quite good um, bit of sherry in there, almost like a black tea spice to it. Ooh, yeah, like that. yeah. Good. I saw that on the flavor wheel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, there's some pear and some oak. Mm, it reminds me of the flavor reminds me of along with that pear when you bake a pear and you fill it with ricotta cheese. Have you ever done that? Have you ever had that? It reminds me of baked pears and ricotta. Mm. Really, like kind of creamy and sweet. Uh, quite nice. And I'll have to try that. You should. And in reality, Glenfiddich has gotten quite a bit better in the last couple of years. Mm. Since the last time I bought a bottle, which was about three or four years ago, um, it had a way more of a, an aluminum kind of flavor to it. And I feel like they've uh, they've put they've more that, yeah. into the. There's probably enough consumers out there going, "Hey, this isn't get rid of that. This isn't the Glenfiddich we know and love." Mm. So it's a bit um, better. Finished. We got to rush along here a little mm -hmm. bit here. A uh, bit grassy, bit of hay. Yeah. Little oak and dark chocolate dryness. I've got. I'm finding the oak on the finish more. Okay. And yep. a bit of a pepper, like a, a white pepper kind of spice to it. Yeah. The oak, and but there is that lingering sweetness. There's a spiciness to it. Yeah, for sure. I said sweetness. Yeah. <laughs> it was sorry. Did I miss something? No, you're right. That's there. Good. There we go. Okay. Um, so. Uh, we should score well, this guy. Uh, water, just what yeah, I say, yeah, with yeah. the water. Um, the nose explodes with bold flavor mm. with a little bit of water. Nice, nice. Okay, well, so what I got, uh... Just give us the total. What the, was the total? The total is 24.37 okay. out of 33.33, which is quite nice. And um, we'll be right back. To give you the Glen Livet score. What's the score on Glen Livet? Uh, I give it a 25.91, you give it a 24.33, which in grand total is 25.12 or 12. Okay, so that, so Livet is 25.12 and Fiddick we scored 24.37. So if this were an Olympic competition, this gets the gold, Livet would win. This gets the silver. However, said, saying all that, I do find uh, that I liked the nose more on the finick. Okay. A little well, bit more deep and complex. Well, the, but... verdi the verdict is in. You can decide for yourself. Yep. And, uh, but the numbers don't lie here. Anyway, hey, see you next time. Again, cheers. cheers.